The regular! The regular! Yeah! Yeah! Chicho in the house! Dímelo. I go. Dame. Dame. Dámelo. No, no, no. You have to. You have to. No. Get, get, get over here. No, 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 no. Guys, you remember when I did the video with Pescatarian? Ven acá, bro. Come here. How are you not going to show this on my channel? No joda. Hold on. Wait, wait. Vente para acá. Vente para acá. I got to show this. Vente para acá. Porque está el sol. This is why... You want to go deep. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, Hawk Hogan did it to Andre the Giant, bro. Wait. <laughs> oh, my God. No, no, no. Yeah, that's Oye, espérate, go. Oh, my God. Oh, my. This is going to be the thumbnail of the century. Come on, bro. Dale. Come on, man. Dale. Esta va a ser la foto. This is gonna be the pick. No! Oh my goodness, guys, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait. Oh my goodness. Come on, man! <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh my god! Wow! Que classe of swordfish, bro. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. Espérate, no se me vaya, no se me vaya, no te me vaya. No te me vaya, ven acá. Wait. Yeah, Pon, yeah, get out, get right, right there. Wow. Wow, 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 guys. Look at this, look at this. Oh yeah, ahí, ponte ahí, ponte ahí, ponte ahí, dale, dale, yeah, right there, I can get a good shot right there. There you go, like that, leave it right there, right there, no, yes, yes, that's it, that's it. Mira acá, right there, look over here, yes! <laughs> wow, what a monster! Welcome to the chit show, guys. Go deep, went sword fishing, and uh, oye, felicidades, guys. You. you guys ripped it. Tú, ahora. Oh, mira, no lo vi. Pero mira, I got it, baby. We got it. He just said he sent me a message. Let me see. Oh, my goodness, bro. Guys, did you see the size of that swordfish? Wow. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see if I see the messages. Oh, my God. He says, what's up, brother? You in the ramp? I'm coming in with a monster. Look at him. What's that, a black carpet? No, that is a swordfish. That is a huge, huge uh, swordfish. Wow, what a fish, dude. I cannot believe... That's a swordfish. Sword, sword, sword. Dímelo. Oye, mira, mira el pescado que Junior cogió ahí con los socios. Oye, 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 ¿qué clase habla era eso? ¿Qué es eso? Oye, 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 habla, habla tranquilo. Cógelo con tegrisi, man. Wow. That is a monster swordfish. No, he said like 400 pounds. Guys, Uniel from Go Deep Miami. Check him out. Go Deep Miami. Uniel and I and um, 
the pescatarian, right? You guys remember that video? Oh no, and I'm running out of battery. All right, so Pedro, me, and Uniel, we went out and we caught six swordfish that day. And uh, Uniel has been hitting it up. Pedro's been hitting up as well. But wow, what a monster, guys. Hey, listen up. I'm gonna end it here. The chit show is amazing. Guys, wow. I'm gonna go ask for some swordfish because I know they have enough. I'm out of here. But this is this is after the catch, guys. Wow. That's the one nobody's talking about. This is the this is the That's little the, the little one nobody's talking about. <laughs> so you guys got two of them today? Yeah. Go deep or go home. That's it. That's how it is. Go deep or go home. We're gonna show the big one now. Uniel is cleaning. You guys remember Uniel when we went to Pescatarian? Was it my fault the whole time that we lost the fish? Yeah. Oh, was your fault. <laughs> <laughs> guys, oh, so tell me a little bit about it. How was it? How deep were you guys? What? Uh, I swimmed swim, uh, between 1600 and 1800. 1600 and 1900? Yeah. Uh, Good day. Yeah, man. Guys, awesome. guys, oh. guys, we're going to show it. It was a un poco malo yeah. al principio, pero después se puso. At the end, it got, it got rough, guys. It got rough. Come on. Hey, did, did I cause a hernia by any chance when you guys were picking that up to try to get the thumbnail at the boat ramp? Man. Nobody? It Her was a challenge. It was definitely a challenge. Do you guys got any footage of this oh. catch? Yes, of, no, we do. You do? You have some? Yeah, Uni. Uni has. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and see the monster. Go deep, Miami. Wow, bro. Incredible, guys. I had to, guys. I had to come. I had to come to their house. I had to come to their house to show you guys what I couldn't show you at the boat ramp. Bro. Guys. Oh my goodness, bro. This thing is massive. Wow. How, how the hell did you guys get this in? We put it through the transom of the boat. Mm-hmm. We tied the, the rope, then uh, we put a couple of ropes through the mouth, and then with the ropes and uh, the gaff, mm -hmm. we pulled it head in first. How, how much? We had it tied to the tail so it wouldn't go nowhere. How much do you think it weighs? I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell, but we could measure it and get the girth and get more, less of an idea. I'm thinking three something. That is a monster. It's definitely the fish of a life. Are you guys going to process it now or what's going to happen? Yeah, we'll fillet it now. And... So you, you guys you guys have kept it on ice the whole time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We put ice in the core. So it's cold inside out. And we threw like our foul weather gear with ice on top. You know, he texted me and I was at the boat ramp filming the chicho. And then I, I see when he tells me, I see the message. He goes, yo. Are you at the boat ramp? We're coming in with a monster. I'm glad you were there. I'm so glad I was able to get that thumbnail. No, no. And listen to to guys. Look at this. Look, look, look at look at this. This is absolutely incredible. Look at the eye on this guy. So, so what's gonna be the process now? To oh go 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 do that do that do that do that. Wow. So. Well, we definitely got to fillet it up here. I got to start up here. So you you, you, you can't bring it down? No. It, it's, it's better just to work no, it from no, there? No, no, no. Yeah, we'll get hurt. We'll definitely get hurt doing that. So we'll cut it right here. And by sections, we'll do it in a little bit. Who's going to be the, the... The butcher? The butcher. <laughs> I probably will. You'll probably be the butcher? Yeah. Guys, sword fish for days. I had to, I, you know, I left the boat ramp. Yeah. I, I, I was like, this is, this is a once, like what you just said, this is a once in a lifetime fish. Yeah, it is. And I want it on my channel to show, especially, you know, you know the video, you saw the video that we yeah. did, right? And, and maybe one day we'll do a video and then they'll go deep. Yeah, definitely. I know, I, I know, we'll take you out there. I know, um, uh, Pedro, he's like, hey, listen, I already, he's uh, in Orlando uh, now. yeah, yeah. 
So he, he he's like, he's probably right now like going, like, oh my, my God, God, I want to see this fish. <laughs> he's like, I got to st- I gotta get out of D- Disney, babe. I got to get out of Disney. Yes, I want to yes, go see yes, this yes, fish. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Well, listen, um, I, at least I can, pro- I can, I can, I can make it feel um, somewhat um, that he'll, he'll appreciate it, guys. And uh, the pescatarian guys, we've done a, a video on there and we caught six that day. How long, how long was the fight? About an hour and a half. About an hour and a half? About an hour and a half till we got him. He came all the way up to the leader, which mm-hmm. is 100 feet. Mm-hmm. And then when he saw daylight, he Straight shot down. down. Yeah. He came up with the lead and then he just shot down. And then he was down there for a good while. And this was on? Well, we had this. No, this was not. The one no. on the side here. That one. This so we got it everything. So you got you got this one here, yeah, on the side, but sideways. I don't know. Yeah, the the it's sideways. Yeah, it's sideways. Oh, I mean that could be fixed. It could be rotated. Yeah, yeah, it could be rotated. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got good footage. Wow, guys. So this is the side that you guys brought it up on. Yeah, we brought it up over here. Even boat rest the boat with the guy. All right, guys. So look, um, definitely an So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a little bit of the processing because I want to show that right because you know for some people. They don't know that side of it. So okay. we'll show the processing of how you guys cut it up. We'll wait for everybody to finish cleaning up. <laughs> this is so wild. I, I wanted to see this with my own eyes. This is incredible how big this is. Yeah, we've been looking for her for a while. Wow. She had massive eggs. Yeah? Yeah. It's a big girl, guys. How, how, how big can they get? Well, Nick Nick's caught one. Um, Nick stands it, guys. Right, That's what he's talking about. Nick from um, from uh, Island Marada, guys. Uh, Butter Marys. He has a big YouTube channel um, on sword fishing. His and is oh, a, look at this! Crack. Yes! Oh my goodness! Cuban crack. Um, a thousand two hundred yeah. is the record in the world. Yeah. They get big. Yeah. They get big. Females get big. The females, the not females. The, not the males. Not the males. The females are the ones that get the biggest. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna go ahead and show how these guys process this massive sword. Listen, I just wanted to be up in the thick of it because this is, like I said, once in a lifetime thing. Um, hopefully, they can catch a bigger one. We'll do something another video. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 listen, I, I can't wait to see that footage that you guys have. <laughs> I cannot wait, guys. Wait for it. Boom. It's gonna happen, guys. The processing begins. Yes, sir. Let's go, guys. So, so the, you guys have to cut it up here. There's no, there's either that no, or just lose not, your back. There's, there's not bringing it down. This is, guys. Let's this see. is. You this. Know, I'm gonna cut the bill. I'm gonna lo más como. I've never seen this done. So this one is first or no last? Push, push it over there, Marito, please. It's not, it's not going to be the last. For sure, it's not going to be the last. All right, so you're just trying to get a little bit of space so he can be nice and... Wow, dude, that is incredible. That's straight bone. Great bone, dude. I've never seen this. Usually they do it with a. So we're doing this just so we can find the the body out. Look how much meat he has here. Let me see that. Let me see how white that thing is. Look at the bill. So can you save that? Yeah. You you this can. Is get, this is getting mounted. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. Go deep or go home. That's it, baby. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. Hey, smash the like, guys. You don't see this every single day. I wanted to show some of this process so you guys can see what 
how they process it. We're going to process one side, right? Because I want you guys to see that. Um, Dude, let me and get the water. That's my <laughs> if I'm in the way, let me know. Don't worry about me. All right, let me know what you're doing because I want them to cook. Right now, what I'm doing is trying to section it because we can't fillet the whole slab. Yeah. Okay. So, what I'm doing is just going and pretty much trying to get the steaks out. Okay. So, that's the goal, to get a bunch of steaks? Yeah. How much is the pound of, of swordfish right now? Right now, whole food is $30. Thirty dollars, and it's not as fresh as this one. Not in a million years, right? No, this one was swimming two hours ago. So, this is just a steak, and what we'll do is we'll cut this in half because this is a big steak. And you can cut it in sections. Smaller sections if you wanted yeah. to? Yeah. So you're going to have steaks for days. Oh, yeah. And that's here's the bone, right? This is the bone, yeah. So right now, I'm just marking it. That way I can take the slab out. We'll do it's a big piece. Something like this. And then just work the knife on the bone. So we don't waste any meat. You don't want to waste any meat, huh? Not at all. Everything just 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 hug uh hug the, the, the the bone the whole way. Yes sir. Look how clean that thing looks, my goodness. Wow. It's a little easier with a smaller fish. Or when you get when you're able to take it out of the boat, but we we're blessed enough that we had to do it on the this boat. is this is a good problem to have. This is a very good this problem. is a very good problem to have, guys. Um, it's not every day you get to fillet the fish on the boat. Yeah, because you can't get it off the boat. I'm so glad I was able to get you guys uh, filming I didn't know it. If you were back already. Yeah, man. I was like, when you. When I saw that text after the fact, I was like, oh my goodness, I missed this, guys. So this is what you do. All right. Whoa. You get the, um, wow. This is the big slab of meat. And then you could quarter it off. Okay. And half. Or you could do big steaks. It's really up to you. So how much do you think right there this, this area weighs, more or less, if you had to, if you had to guess? This has to be a good 15, 15 18 pounds. Nah, see, it looks like it's more, bro. I think so. Let me see. Yeah, bro. <laughs> that is so wild. Look at that beautiful meat. That is that is absolute. And and for people that haven't tried swordfish, you gotta try it. It's it in, doesn't taste like fish. It, it's incredible. Now we're passing it on to the. Swordfish. Swordfish. <laughs> <laughs> he just asked me what I want to eat. They're going to order some food, guys. What but we're doing is now listen, tranquilo, bro. I'm good. I'm going to go home now in a little bit. What I wanted to do is show this, guys. Okay. What we're doing is we're, we're sectioning it off, mm -hmm. and then tomorrow we'll cut it into little um, pieces because what happens is if you cut it right away in mm -hmm. smaller pieces, it'll bubble up inside. So What do you mean by bubble up? The meat comes out like it comes up a little. You see how it comes up over here? You can tell on this steak right here. You see how it just came up? Okay. So what you do is you let it rest for like maybe a day okay. in the cooler. And then you can So you are you keeping it on ice or where are you putting it on? On ice. Yeti. So so you're you're putting it in a yeti right That's now with ice. Yeti. That's it. That's it. Let me see, let me see where this is going. Alright, we got another slab guys. And you cut it into manageable pieces. And then then tomorrow you guys I'll cut it off into steaks. I probably want 
most people do to fall, so they'll cut it here so it's more manageable. Mm -hmm. So they'll cut it in, in the middle? Yeah. I can't How wait. the saying goes, there is a million ways to skin I, catch. I can't wait to see the footage of when you guys... I bet you it was a chicho trying to bring it onto the boat. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's, he's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the chicho. All right, so what? What? Um, why is this area a lot more... Uh, is that like kind of like where the bloodline is? This is the, where the bloodline is. The it's, other stake had it as well. But it wasn't um, that bad, or, or it is? It is. Uh, it is. It is. It is. It is. So yeah, it's throughout yeah. the whole fish. Yeah, it's throughout the whole fish. Go deep Miami, baby. Coming through. And you guys said it got kind of rough there at the end, in huh? In the morning, yeah. In the morning, too, the morning, it was nasty? In the morning, it was nasty getting out there. There was only us and another boat out there. Do you know if the other boat did anything pretty good or no? No, he's always out there. Yeah. So, this is how you can also quarter it off. You don't need this part, so... This is something that I would do tomorrow, mm -hmm. not now. Okay. But... Right now, you're just trying to process it to get it off of right. the fish, uh, out this of the is, boat. This is the fishy part of the fish, the bloodlines. Mm -hmm. So we you want to clear all that? Yeah, we don't want that. This is all not good, guys. Obviously, you want you want to just get the, the, the meat. the white meat. Yeah. yeah, the white meat. The red meat, it's, um, it's fishy. It has a lot of omegas. That is a beautiful. That is absolutely delicious. And uh, now, is there better parts of uh, of the sword, sword that fruit? tastes better, or or is there like a? I like this is um the front part. I'll show you once we get there. Okay. Those are called the um, cabbage cut. Mm -hmm. As you know, they're ugly cuts, but this this section of the fish mm -hmm. is one of the most tastiest. Yeah. All right, I guess. Let me get another angle over here. Junior, enciende la luz aquí, papi. Okay. Mira, la que dice Alfred, la que dice. Cockpit, huh? AFC. You see how it bubbles up? Can you tell? Yeah. You see how it's coming up? Yeah. So if I was to cut it small, it'll come up like a, kind of like a little mountain. Okay. Like a little mountain. Okay. Go ahead, you. And it's all going into the Yeti right now. And then tomorrow, it'll just, the same thing, it'll get just cut into smaller pieces. This, this to me is so cool, dude. Wow. So you already, you guys already, when you cut it earlier, you you strip the guts, everything. Yeah, we take the guts out earlier and ice, and ice the cord. That okay. way, the fish comes in cold. Like if you were to touch the belly, mm -hmm. it's totally cold. You know. Yeah. Uh, try to keep it safe. You know, as much yeah. as possible. Because it'll get bad real quick. Would it get bad or not? Sword, no? not as much as other fish, but you would try to ice it as fast as we can. That way, you know, it's safe to eat. It's a lot of meat for it to go bad. She already gave us her life, so we need yeah. to yeah, you thank need, her and and honor her and honor her. Yeah, we absolutely. Every little, every little bit of it. Uh, absolutely, dude. You know the beautiful thing is a lot of people are gonna have a lot of oh, yeah. good family dinners, right? Look at this, absolutely. guys. Absolutely, absolutely. Look at that. Absolutely nuts.
you know, YouTube doesn't really like these type of videos because they're kind of like gory. It's, um, yeah, like when I cut the bill, mm -hmm. they call it like uh, sensitive material. Yeah. But, I mean, this is something that we've been doing since the beginning of mankind with fish. Yeah. We, we eat me, you know. It's a, it could be a little tough to see, guys, but this is the circle of life. That's the, the reality, right? Many, many families and many, many people are going to be um, eating. Nothing will go to waste. Yeah, nothing will go to waste here. And um, this is a legal fish, you know. Um, what, what's the, what's, what's, what's the, uh, what's the, 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 legal the, size? the sizes again? 47. 47. From the bottom jaw. From the tip of the bottom jump to the, to the fork. To the fork. Yeah. We didn't measure this one because this was way bigger than 47, but. Juniel, you just caught a fish of a lifetime. Where are you going now? Uh, Disney World. Tuna, this. <laughs> tuna, tuna. Well, you want to get a get your monster tuna now? Yeah. Is there is there big tunas out here? Nah, no. not here. But you gotta go to North Carolina. Yeah, we got those go areas, right? Louisiana. Louisiana. California. Louisiana, guys. Okay, so you're saying that this is kind of like the better. This is to me the best eating. Well, actually, the closer we get to the head. Okay. It's it's what they call the no. captain's cut because. See, like I can't get a I can't get a pretty steak out of here, but this is one of the best eating meat in the whole fish. Right here, this area. Yes. I'll show you. This is awesome. I saw how many people went and and went to the side of the boat at the boat ramp to just go ahead and see the fish. They were probably amazed, huh? Oh my God! Yeah, it was a crowd. And look at the size of the bloodline. Almost non-existent. You see what I'm telling? Yeah. So that's kind of why it's a little bit better. It's got to be the belly meat. You know when you eat tuna? Yeah. The toro, it's uh, the fattiest part if you see. It's full of intramuscular fat. So it's, uh, it's a little juicier. It looks great. You see how it's bubbling up? Like I told you? Yeah. You can tell right here. You can see this little mountain right here. Yeah. I had I had I had to make this a whole separate video because this is not like even a video that YouTube will will let me monetize because of. Like I said, the, the type of content it is. Really? But yeah, but it doesn't matter to me because I think the fact that I can show what you guys caught, right? While I'm filming the chicho at the boat ramp, which if you if you just stumbled across this channel because you saw an amazing fish, um, the chicho is where I basically filmed the boat ramp, right? Right. And uh, and uh, they called me and they told me they texted me. I didn't even know that you guys were on the way in. Is it a little harder since it's such a bigger fish? Uh, uh, yeah. As long as your knife is sharp, you'll be good. This part right here is a little tricky. <laughs> you still need help. Cuts, but they don't come out as pretty. Mm -hmm. But they're tasty. <laughs> so, is there people that do something with the head on these uh, units or no? Uh, yeah. Alguien le hace algo con la cabeza. Sí. Yeah. 
Can you make like a monster soup or something like that? My brother-in-law? Yeah. He, 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 he did. Badass? Yeah, he say so. Guys, even the... the... So this is what they call a... Okay. Cabinet's cut. It's an ugly steak. Okay. But it's one that, of the that's, easiest meat. That's full of meat. Yeah, There's absolutely. One of, like we say, all the way to the head. Nothing goes to waste. Very little meat. Whatever you see here will will shave now with shishim, sashimi. And um, everything will be... Good, good eating sashimi for this as well? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All you need is a little bit of um, soy sauce. Soy and sauce and... Uh, and for those of you guys, as it gets. yeah. Yeah. Oh. Right there. Yeah. Everything else. So you guys get everything. Like we it, try to get as much as we can. Like and I said, we honor the fish. Yeah, that's. She gave us her life. Yeah. And my kids love it. My wife loves it. You know. This is um. This is a way of life for us. You know. It's definitely a, a sporting. No, you know we don't do this for a living, but yeah. But look, um, when I went out with uh, with Uniel and, and Pedro, I mean, that was some hardcore stuff, bro. It is. This is not easy. This, to catch. this is. I mean, oi, who saw the tip? The tip. The tip. Julie saw the tip today. No. No. Julie but, saw the nah. tip today. He know. He know. Now listen. Uh, you know. He's a beast mode. Beast mode with the tip. He's been doing his homework. Okay. So <laughs> the, the, he's been doing his homework. Guys. So this is about watching the tip, right? So the tip of the rod, and you got to see the bite. If you find the bite and you're good at seeing the bite, you're gonna catch the fish. And if if you don't, it's bien difícil. It's bien difícil. De ver. It's, it's challenging. Bien difícil. It's guys. It's it's, it's not. It's pretty much watching paint dry. Yeah. That's the thing. As so I was this one of the last? Did you catch the other fish earlier? This was the last drift. So the little one that we caught uh -huh. was um, the second drift, right? Second did you guys drift. lose any on the way? No. You didn't lose any on the way. Today was zero um, fishermen areas. We did everything for the teeth. So so no bites that we lost. Not today. And then today. so then you Two you caught you caught the small one. You you saw the tip on the small one, and then later in the day this monster hooked up on the last drift. On the last drift. And you're like, hey, let's do one more drift and then boom. No, once we got this, we said, we got to go. We got to go. We got no, we don't have enough ice. We don't have where to put it. No, you guys, you, go? you guys uh, did an amazing uh, uh, catch there. Esos son los cortes para que no se bote nada. The sashimi, sashimi. Como están? Hola, hermano. Hola, Alright. What is that? What is that noise? Is that it's a peacock. That's a, that's a bird? Yeah. And that is a peacock. It's somebody's house? They live right there. That's oh. a wall. That's a yeah, that's a reserve right across the street. Oh there's a reserve back there? Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah, that's a reserve. And that's why uh like I told you, nothing goes to waste, brother. Yeah, you know, um, but you know, look, even even somebody might be offended about seeing something like like this because it, it looks kind of right, it looks kind of wrong for for some people, right? But honestly, it's uh, tú te vas a quedar con la cabeza, tú te vas a quedar con la cabeza, sí or no, yeah. So he's gonna process and he's gonna do the the head. ¿Qué es lo que le vas a hacer? Una sopa. So, so guys, he's gonna make a giant soup um, with the head of. Can, can do, do any? But does anybody do anything with the eyes on these guys, or no, or no? We're supposed to take a shot. <laughs> a what? A shot. What do you mean a shot? Yeah, when uh, Omar is supposed to take a shot, here's his first horse. Swallow the eye. 
You gotta, you gotta actually cut the eye out. Okay. And he's gotta take a shot from the inside of the eye. So. Really? Is that like a thing? That is a thing when you first swordfish. Yeah. That's, this is your first one. My first one was the small one. The small one. Right. So now you're just trying to back out on this big one. You want to get a smaller shot. Take the big shot. That's what I deserve. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was. He he's like, hey, I want to do the smaller one. There's nothing really left there, so now we'll go ahead and do the other side. Well, look, I think I got enough to show them the process. Thank you. Um, Pretty much the same thing on the other side. On the other side, guys. Thank you for coming. M out. Maybe, maybe we can get you taking a shot of the eye or not. A little bit later. Not gonna happen. <laughs> a little bit later. Yeah. How many beers do you have to drink? <laughs> a lot. You need. Hey, um, thank you for letting me come over here to your home thank you, and show what happens after the boat ramp. Uh, Check. Uh, give me your Instagram again because I want them to follow you on Instagram. Go, go deep Miami. Go, go deep. deep Miami. Yours? I don't have one. Go deep Miami, go deep Miami guys. Yes. We're a team. We're, We're a team. Well, exactly the same. Okay, guys. So the Go Team Miami. And uh, we got a kind of... Thank you for your life. Yeah. Yep. Guys, Alfred Montaner over here. Part of the team. Part of the team, guys. I, hey, listen. I didn't have to do much, but I got the thumbnail. And I got you guys. Wait for it. Ready? 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 Boom!